Awesome. Hello, Jackie. My name is Jolie Gonzalez Padilla, and I'm here with my husband, Victor Padilla, and we're huge fans of yours. Um, I've been a fan of yours as, as I mean, forever. And I want to uh, thank you for taking some time to talk to us because it's a real huge honor um, for us to be speaking to you, and we're looking forward to also meeting you in person very soon. And uh, we want to, I personally want to thank you for many moments which um, your music has helped me overcome huge art, um, obstacles and, and difficult times in my life. So, for that, God bless mm -hmm. you. Oh, thank you so much. You know, it's, it's you make records, and you sometimes you don't get to meet people, and then when you hear those kinds of stories, it makes it all worthwhile you know, being cooped up in the studio for days. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, thank <Amen>. you. <laughs> um, well, the first question we have for you is, uh, we'd love to learn more about your family and where you're from. Well, I'm originally, I was born in Houston, Texas, but I've been living in Nashville since I was uh, 14 years old, so 20 years now, so I'm 34. Wow. Um, so I've been here a long time, and, uh, you know, i I married a very handsome man. Um, he's a lead singer for a band called Salvador. And, uh, you know, just I get to sing with him sometimes. I think we're going to be singing together over there. Cool. Uh, yeah, and uh, we have two little boys, a four-year-old and a five-year-old. Um, my five-year-old is Sunshine. When he was born, I looked at him and just, he's got the eyes that look straight into your soul. And he's got like an old like he knows he knows more than we could ever imagine you know he, he can tell who he can trust and who he can't wow my my youngest our four-year-old he uh he's crazy <laughs> i say from the time he was born i was like well adventure has come into the world um because you know the kid is just he's the, the kind that when he sees a girl or pretty girls he goes Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. You know, and so he's he's a flirt, and you know he's just uh, he's my he's my crazy adventure, and then I have my my sunshine. So I feel really blessed to have both my boys. That's beautiful. Sounds like the younger one is a free soul. <laughs> oh, he's he's something, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to balance each other out. That's for sure. Oh, definitely, definitely. I always say because our oldest has had some. Um, has had some stuff, you know, the, the school system diagnosed him with autism um, back in March. Oh, okay. And and I, I say that for him with Zealand, I it's about nurturing his gift. Yeah. And his gift is something that I, I can't even put into words. He's got the ability to just to love and to love big, love hard and uh, and also Thing and his athletic abilities are incredible. He doesn't say much. And I always say the reason he doesn't say much is because his brother talks so much that Zelan can't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have one of them, right? That's yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Well, Jackie, you know, as um, as Jolie was saying, you know, your music has inspired me uh, throughout the years. I actually saw you in um, San Antonio with Billy Graham some years ago. But uh, what inspired you to be a singer and a Christian artist? You know, I, I think that I was raised in a Christian home, thank God. And, um, you know, my, my parents were pastors when I was a child. And it was just a natural kind of, Thing to, to because my father is a singer and very good. Um, he's had bands throughout his lifetime: the Latinos, the Amigos, the Galileans, the King Three. So um, it was just a natural progression. And also, you know, when you sing and God gives you a gift, you, when you know who God is and you know Christ, there's no other option but to give the gift back to Him. And that that's what I've tried to do in, in my in my ministry and in my life. That's good. That's good. Um, I I work a lot with my husband, so I'm, I'm trying to imagine you probably have a similar relationship in your chosen fields, how we do in our chosen field. How, tell me how it feels to work with your husband and, and what kind of projects you get to work together on. <laughs> oh, 
know, working with your husband is a blessing <laughs> and also a pain, too. Because, especially for us, like, when we're around the van, mm-hmm. and for some reason, Nick, Nick you know, uh, says something to me that morning, you know, in the... Um, at the hotel before we get on the plane, and I'm all giving him the silent treatment. <laughs> Everybody in the band is just going, okay, well, we're going to stay way over here. Can we get, can we get new seats on the plane? Angry, <laughs> well, angry Latina, <laughs> angry Latina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then it's really cool, too, because when we get to go on the road and we get to be together, it's, it's like we're not... When we're together, it doesn't feel like the family is separated. Like, when I have to travel alone, Mm-hmm. I feel so much guilt and sadness. And yeah. So I feel lonely because my husband with the kids at home or vice versa. And when we're together, even though the kids might be with grandma, mm-hmm. it's like it's like as long as we're together, Nick and I, then the family's together. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, no, that makes perfect sense. That does make perfect sense. And that's a blessing, really, that you guys are given the opportunity to work together. Even though I must agree, oh, yeah. sometimes it is a pain, but it's, it's, challenging <laughs> it's a little bit time, stressful. But... <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It is, it, it's more good than bad. <laughs> oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. And, and, you know, Nick and I are such fiery personalities anyway. It, it, just, it just works out. That's great. That's great. Well, being a uh, a Christian artist and uh, and singer, um, share about your relationship with God and and uh, when did you become a believer? You know, I feel like that continuously evolved because I I say that you know I became Christian when I was five years old, and then as I grew up, I think when I was probably eighteen is when I truly felt that my relationship with Christ was not something that I was taught or that my parents. Instilled in me, it became my own. Wow. And then, as time progressed, it was probably the birth of, of my first son mm. that I really saw God in a new way and in a new light that evolved again because I had an understanding of the way that God loves us. You know, when my kids do something wrong or they go, hey, I, you know, they tell me something, I'm like, are you telling stories? <laughs> you always have to tell the truth. You have to tell the truth. Is that the truth or is that a story? They go, ah, it's just so we ask. Out. It doesn't mean I'm mad at him. It means, hey, come on, we got to. And that's how I feel like God does with us. You know, he loves us so much. He'll forgive us 70 times 7. You know, and I just, I, I'm thankful for that forgiveness and that grace. And, and, and I think that my kids taught me that as well, you know? That's good. That's good. That's a blessing. Now, do you write your own music? Or most of your songs, or some of your songs, and and what do you love most about writing and singing for God? Oh goodness, um, that's what do I love most? Mm-hmm. I, I think that probably the thing I love most is um, I do I do write a lot of my own stuff, but um, I think that the thing I love the most about it is the fact that I get to share where I am, what I am facing, and you know, people think, oh well, you're you're a Christian, so um, everything must be perfect. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. when you become a when you, yeah <laughs> when you become a Christian, you're actually going to get uh, challenged more and face more things. And and sometimes being able to put that down on paper, put that into a song that I'm facing something or that I've been challenged by something means that I can, you know, let people know that they're not alone. We're not right. alone. I'm with you. I'm walking through that with you. It's, it's okay. It doesn't mean we're broken. It just means there's a mess before the message. Yeah, that's true. That's that's a great way to put it. That's a great way to put it. How about your um your career in movies? Because I've watched some of um, what you've come out in, and I think that's really inspiring. Are you going to be doing more acting? And if so, what what can we expect to see? Oh goodness, um, you know I I love acting. And it's, it's a blast. I think that um, my hope is that I get to continue making films that are centered on faith and faith. Um, I have a couple films coming out this year, uh, Rumors of Wars, 11 Seconds. And then next year I have another uh, three. I'm working on three different films right now. So I'm kind of a, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Stretched. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
And so sometimes I don't like to think about it because then I go, oh, my goodness, I have things I should be doing, but instead I'm outside jumping on the trampoline with my kids, and <laughs> I would much prefer that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that feels. But somehow or another, God always stretches time to make sure you could get it all done. I don't know how he does it, but... I don't either. I don't either. I just... I, maybe the way he does it is that we just skip laundry instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, that'll be done. We got more clothes in this closet. There you go. There you go. <laughs> just make sure that closet's full of clothes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, uh, what is your favorite scripture story in the Bible? Um, probably, oh gosh, there's so many, um, Romans, well, there's now Jeremiah 33, 3, and I don't have my Bible in front of me to give you the exact, um, what it says, but it's just, you know, call to me and I will show you great and powerful things, things you do not know. And, Amen. and I just, uh, I just believe that so many times in our lives we have to call out to him and, and. Actually, every day, every moment, call out to him, whether it's about the good stuff or the challenges that we're facing, call out to him, and he'll show us things that we don't know when we're, when we're happy and we're smiling, we're laughing, and everything is good in our world. Call out to him, and he'll show us, hey, whatever it is that he wants to show us in that moment, and in the stuff that we're facing as well. Amen. I agree with that. Who has been a hero to you and or an inspiration throughout your life besides God because I know that that's that's obvious but who can you say has been a huge inspiration or hero to you there's so many people it would be a toss-up throughout my life it would be my dad and my mom but but I think that more recently you know my my husband is my hero um he the way he looks at life the way that he raises our sons, and the way that he, he's a man of God, he loves God, and and he really, he really loves the way that that, that I believe love should be. I, I know that sounds great. I just, I think that, I think he's my hero. He's so good to us. He's so good to my babies. Oh! That's good. That's a blessing. It's good to have a good man, right? Oh, we're we're so f uh, few and far in between. <laughs> yeah, I got I got one too, Jackie. I got one too. <laughs> yeah, good for you. You know what's interesting is uh, I've listened to your husband's music for a long time, and and he's a great singer as well as you are. Um, what advice would you have to give young Christian artists who are up and coming and you know working in in the field of of Christian music? I say, sing where you are. Where, where God has you right now, sing there, whether it's in church, whether it's in your youth group, whether it's at your school, whether it's whatever it is, sing where you are. God's plan will show itself. And and if you're faithful to what he has in front of you, then he'll take you to the next, you know, area. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Jackie. I, I just have one more request. Uh, which of your songs... Uh, do you, do you feel has had the biggest impact on on uh, your fans or the community, and why? The biggest impact. Um, well, I, I probably on my knees. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, on my knees has had the biggest, you know, kind of impact, and and I think that uh, it's because of the fact that you know there are those days when we feel like everything is going right, then there are the days when it's just not going right. And who do we have to turn to? We have, we have Christ. We have prayer. We have God's love and just getting down on our knees. And here I am. I surrender everything I am to you because I can't do this on my own. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you that so is a much. good song. I, uh, I think that's the end of our questions. Uh, I want to, again, thank you, and I'm looking forward to meeting both you, you and your and your husband, and um, we're looking forward to your wonderful performance, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to encourage everyone to come and hear you because um, you are a true blessing to uh, the world in general and most specifically to Christians who, who need to hear uh, the, the messages that you communicate because you've helped so many people. God bless you for that. God bless you. Mucho abrazos y besos a su familia. Ay, muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. Gracias. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bendiga. Adiós. 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 Bye-bye.
Bye-bye.